the State Templar that began a few weeks ago titled The Forum, a challenge to the Macedonianism of the Slavs. And we continue this week looking at Saints Cyril and Methodius. Greek Macedonia or Macedonia proper was destined to play a very important role in Christianity. The two great sons of Macedonia, brothers Constantine in Schema Cyril and Michael in Schema Methodius, provided education to the ignorant and uncivilized Slavs through religion and gave them an alphabet and codified their language, the old church Slavonic. The two Greek brothers from Thessaloniki were the sons of Leon and Maria. Leon was a descendant of the Byzantine Empress, Irene the Athenian, who was the wife of the Emperor Leon and was a Dugarios, which means a senior official equal to a general of the imperial administration. It is clear from Methodius' biography that the two brothers were fluent Greek speakers and educated in a Greek environment and they grasped the Slavonic language easily. Cyril mastered a number of other languages, including Hebrew and Arabic, according to his biographer and disciple Clement. There are a series of papal affirmations regarding the birth and the nationality of the two brothers and their family. Professors Ivan Lazarov and Plemen Pavlov and Milko Palangurski of the Faculty of History of St. Cyril and Methodius University in Veliko, Bulgaria, state very explicitly that the two brothers were Greeks from Thessaloniki. Oscar Halicki, Professor of Eastern European History, agrees with the authors. Moreover, Dr. Peter Jocic states Cyril and Methodius were Greeks, and speaking of Cyril, he further states, he studied in his native Thessaloniki. It is very well known and documented that the fathers of St. Cyril and Methodius were Greek. Nevertheless, dear friends, there is a plethora of statements found in mostly Slavic websites and books written by Slavs offering a variety of statements about Maria, who was a mother, her nationality. From comments that she was a slave, to she was probably a slave, to she was a slave. Such statements, dear friends, are unsubstantiated assertions, since none of these publications offers any Byzantine or other source of that period as their reference. Proper names in the ancient Hellenic times were given based on ethnicity. Greeks received Greek names. Thracians received Thracian names. Illyrians received Illyrian names. It was very important to people that they had names that meant something in their own language. In the Roman times, we see the phenomenon that Romans would receive Greek names and Greeks would receive Roman names. Upon though the spread of Christianity, Greek or Hebrew proper names were given to the newly baptized. Thus, the name Maria had to be given to her either at birth, which means she was a Greek, given the fact that the Slavs and the Bulgarians were not Christian yet, or she received the name Maria upon her baptism. However, there is no such evidence in any of the known credible sources. The same is true for Michael and Constantine, later known as Methodius and Cyril, respectively. In the 1800s, former writer wrote his treatise on the Slavic origin of modern Greeks. However, there are also allegations that he was secretly commissioned by the Russian Imperial Court. The secret diplomatic documents of the Austrian Ministry of Foreign Affairs unclassified after World War I revealed former writer's professional connection to the Russian general Osterman Tolstoy, who escorted former writer to Greece by order of the Russian Tsarist government. The German historian Popov refuted former writer's theory that Greece was overrun by Slavs during the 6th century AD to the point that they became 
tanks left themselves, and he proved the uninterrupted presence of the Hellenic nation in its ancestral soil and attested to the origin of the Greeks from their ancient ancestors. But for Lomel's a Slavonic historian and a philologist himself, a great 